can vote a lot of different ways these days, like secret ballots or mail-in ballots. Last night, Woodland Park City Council opted for an untraditional method to pick its new mayor. The council spent almost three hours deliberating, but ultimately chose a simple way to decide who would fill the seat. Beginning our top six and six, KRDO News Channel 13's Emily Allen reports on a winner whose selection raised eyebrows. Hours of interviews, dozens of questions, but the ultimate decision was decided by this bowl. Neil Levy's name was picked, making him Woodland Park's new mayor. I'm not necessarily um, a big advocate of the way the voting came down or the pick of the hat, but that's the process, and uh, we knew that going in. This is a historic decision, and it just had to come to a bowl. It's the first time city council has elected a mayor, so it had to decide on the rules. After three rounds of votes, there was no clear winner. So council went back to the basics. That's the process, and since we only had six council members, uh, the 3-3 three, three tie was a possibility, and it just came down to that. Former Mayor David Turley resigned in July. He's accused of sexually assaulting a 17-year-old boy. Levy says it's time to move forward. The city of Woodland Park's got a tremendous foundation. There's a lot of great things going on. This will be a little blurb on the map as we move forward. City Council Member Noel Sawyer says it wasn't a traditional way to pick a winner, but it worked. Regardless of who was picked out of the bowl, uh, both were going to be good mayors. It was an untraditional start to his term, but Levy says there are good things to come. The duties of the office of mayor. Upon which I'm about to enter. In Woodland Park, Emily Allen Cardio, News Channel 13. Council Member Noel Sawyer says Council will be looking at the city charter for more guidance on how to handle these situations in the future. There's an